Hello everyone and welcome back. I hope you are doing well wherever you are. This week has been a very cold one here in London and we've even had some snow, which was a magical treat. It really got me into the Yule spirit. There are so many winter traditions and celebrations around the world and I find it fascinating to learn about them. As for me, I find Yule to be a beautiful tradition. Yule is a pagan celebration of the winter solstice and it is one of the oldest winter celebrations in the world. Depending on the source, Yule was celebrated as a two-month celebration beginning in mid-November a 12-day celebration starting on the solstice or a three-day feast beginning on the eve of the solstice. Today, many modern pagans still celebrate Yule on the day of the winter solstice on December 21st until December 23rd. However, most of the celebrations have the same themes in common. Themes of rebirth, quiet introspection, setting intentions for the new year, and the celebration of light. In a couple of days, I will be leaving London and travelling across the country to Wales where my parents live to celebrate the winter festivities with them and my siblings. I am very much looking forward to going home and taking a much needed break from the noisy city, as well as reconnecting with my big family. However, there is still lots to do and prepare before I leave, so today I will take you on a day of more crafting and Yule preparations. Of course, a staple of a cosy Yule or Christmas time is baking and especially cookies. This is a wonderful way to get your family involved at home and they can also make for such a beautiful handmade gift. Today I'm going to be baking some cookies with some dried rose petals and a rose and hibiscus icing for that beautiful festive colour. I don't often get time to bake, so when I do, I see it almost as a meditative slow activity that calms and centers me. Even though me and my boyfriend will be leaving in a few days time, I still wanted to put up our very own small Yule tree. We purchased this little tree for our very first Christmas in this apartment years ago and each year it comes out to decorate our living space and always brings a little spark of magic to our small but cosy apartment. I also found another set of fairy lights at home and it was the perfect first step to give my tree some sparkle. 
Last week, I painted some pine cones, and today it was time to bring our little tree to life. I was also very excited to come across these transparent empty baubles and I had the perfect items to fill them with. As you already know, I love to decorate with nature and use it to inspire all my crafts when I can, so I was very happy to decorate my tree with these. But, one thing was missing. Now my little tree was complete. And, now that my cookies were baked, it was time to decorate. As a child, on weekends and on school holidays, my mother always encouraged us kids to try different arts and crafts and be creative, as well as to leave the house, play outside and go out into nature. Whether it was painting with watercolours, crafting with quick dry clay, planting seeds in the garden and hoping for something to grow, or building fairy houses, I loved doing things with my hands. And even though I am no professional in any of these things, instead choosing ballet as my career and path in life, I have always loved to be creative and try new things. And this passion has stayed with me. I especially enjoy making handmade gifts for others.
During the winter period, I love to come back to my childhood and reread some of my favorite fairy tales I used to enjoy as a child. A true wintertime favorite of mine is Hans Christian Andersen's story of the Snow Queen. It is a beautiful tale of friendship, love, and the struggle between good and evil. I find that a lot of children's books and fairy tales often hold various lessons and pieces of wisdom that we can all reflect and learn from. As the solstice approaches, I will be reflecting on this past year, my own successes as well as lessons, and also dreaming up a brighter new year. I hope to see you all very soon in my next video. Have a beautiful day or night.